Today we're gonna to be heading deep into the woods to harvest a ton of firewood, cook an interesting meal, and build a special type of shelter to see if we can get through the night in negative 10 without a sleeping bag. It's gonna be a cold one. Got a little bit of time left in the day. Let's get into it. This here is a really good piece of standing dead hardwood. The top's off, so some water's probably gotten into it, but the bark's been uh, stripped from it. Looks really dry and dead. It's huge. Good thing I brought my big saw, so uh, that would be a good start to the fire. I should get probably double that. This will be the biggest tree I've ever taken with this saw. Oh my god, is that ever tiring. I'm gonna start setting up the shelter a little bit, come back, saw a little bit more. Cause uh this is a big piece of really dense hardware. Oh, I knocked it down, but I didn't get it on video. I feel kind of silly for missing that video footage of me felling that tree. So to make it up for you, here's a clip of me pushing over a rotting tree a few years ago. Wow. Hope that quenches your thirst. It landed conveniently up in this tree, so that ends off the ground, easy to saw. And uh, that ends also off the ground, easy to saw. <laughs> like a glove. Whoa, look at that wood. Beautiful hardwood. Perfectly dry. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. That's a big tree. We got enough wood for the night. <laughs> but then, then again, you never really know. Because what do they say? It's like once you think you have enough wood, triple it. Oh, this is a bad idea. And all of a sudden, this little piece of forest is home. Fire! You know on those days you just keep on making mistakes? That's the sign, slow down. Nearly got my car stuck today. My uh, truck is in the, the, the shop and they gave me a loaner car. And uh, the loaner car didn't have winter tires on it. So as I was coming up this backcountry road, um, no grip. So I reversed back and uh, so when I put it into a, a ditch, not a ditch, a bank. I started back down this hill and I started sliding out, went into the, the bank and now I'm completely stuck. Completely stuck. Nearly got it stuck, but I got her out. 
and hike the four or five kilometers here to uh, get on some crown land. <laughs> Okay. Current temperature, negative six, about 20 degrees. Supposed to get a little colder tonight. <laughs> Got some balsam fir boughs. There's a whole mess of them back there and they're kind of strangling each other out so I took one and uh, well just to, just to give the life just to give the force a little bit more life Bannock. I've never done this before. In fact, I've never seen anybody else do it. I'm gonna do sausage corn dogs with Bannock. So sausage Bannock dogs. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, they don't, they definitely don't want to stick. The trick is to only get one hand dirty because uh, otherwise, it becomes a disaster. We'll try that. Two in the pan, two on the stick. See how that turns out. All right, let's eat. Check it out. <laughs> That'll do. So we're eating the corn dogs with honey. Yeah, it's it's really good. That worked out well. I quite like these. All right, so it's about time I finish off the shelter. The trick to this one, the thing that makes it all work is a plastic drop sheet. This is a 12 by eight drop sheet that you would use to uh, cover up stuff when you're painting, things like that. You just got it from Home Depot. This type of structure is called a Morse Kochansky Super Shelter. I've always wanted to test it out for myself, so we're gonna do that. Now let's uh, finish, off, finish off the shelter. Not big enough. So I'm going to have to make this lower to the ground then. There's no doubt we're going to have to make some modifications to this because this drop sheet isn't long enough. We're going to have to drop everything down and uh, make better space. But just kind of wanted to test it out. The way this thing works is the heat comes through the plastic and uh, gets trapped in here like a greenhouse. So, uh, so far, I mean, I'm feeling the heat from the fire. 
And uh, even though it's open on both ends right now, so chances are it's probably gonna get pretty warm in here. It's actually like warm in here. Some fine wood there. Oops. It's like a fire reflector, but also part of the fire. Let's see how long that lasts. It's about a negative 10 out. It's supposed to go down to negative 11 tonight. Currently about four degrees in the shelter. Let's put the plastic up and see what happens. I brought some clothes pegs, but you can usually just bushcraft these. It's kind of trippy. But in all honesty, it's quite nice in here. I feel like if I don't get sleep, it's not going to be for lack of heat, like ambient heat. It's going to be for lack of uh heat below me i don't know if i used enough boughs to uh insulate me from the cold ground i can feel a little bit of the coldness coming up from underneath me but uh not too bad i'll definitely sleep but i won't be toasty toasty warm like i was hoping because i love being toasty warm when i sleep check this out this is pretty cool though still kind of get that ambient glow from the fire <laughs> oh yeah baby it's starting to get real nice I just closed the the opening down there so we're sitting pretty 30 degrees Celsius that's outrageous it's 40 degree difference between inside and outside just this plastic sheeting. It's really quite cozy in here. My backside's pretty comfy as well. It's not super cold anymore. It's warming up. And uh, honestly, it might as well be a sleeping bag. It's, oh, it's wonderful. I'm kind of drifting off to sleep, so I'm going to go set up a time lapse. I know it won't film me tossing and turning, but at least we'll get the fire. I figure that's the best way to film through the night. In any case, I'm probably going to set an alarm to wake up every few hours to check the fire because uh, I don't want that thing to go out because if it does, I'm going to be real cold because <laughs> it's negative 10 out. All right. Still climbing. I think 31 degrees. I feel like it's just going to keep getting warmer, but if it gets too hot, I'm going to vent it. But uh, you know what? I kind of like it being a little toasty. It's nice. Ugh. All right, that's it for me. Heading to bed. See you guys in the morning. Good night.
morning. It's 15 degrees in there. So that worked like a charm. Honestly, I didn't get the best night's sleep, but it wasn't the worst. It was nice and toasty in there for good periods. And then I had an alarm set to uh, wake me up to stoke the fire when I had to, but I didn't even need it because it just got cooler. So I would put more logs on, pull closer to uh, pull closer to the super shelter, and uh, that did the trick. Uh, the spruce boughs weren't very comfortable, and neither was my uh, lack of pillow, but uh, other than that, got a good night's sleep, woke up occasionally, and uh, I'm very impressed. In a real survival situation, I'd probably quadruple the amount of boughs I have in here. This is balsam fir. I'd also uh, get rid of all the sticks to make it a little bit more comfortable. It did the trick, but it wasn't super warm. But I uh, think I harvested enough for uh, this trip. better. Hey! Mmm. Et voila. More of a waffle guy myself, but over here, all food tastes amazing and these pancakes are no exception. Yum. When the time lapse was going last night and I was in the shelter, I recorded the thermometer at, I think it was like 40 degrees Celsius, which seemed a little bit crazy. I don't know if that's actually how warm it was in there, but that's what it recorded it at, which is wild. So it got pretty toasty in there last night. Pretty amazing trip overall, and I'd say that super shelter was a huge success. Pretty cool to see what you can do out here in the woods to stay warm with just mylar blanket, plastic drop sheet, and some paracord. Obviously I had the huge saw to help me process larger pieces of wood, which allowed me to stay in the shelter longer and get a little bit better sleep. But if you had just a smaller saw or perhaps no saw, you could just break branches and you just have to leave the shelter more often to soak the fire. In any case, it was a huge success and uh, I'm stoked to do this one again. Hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.